Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I hope you all are having a fantastic day today. So as you saw from the title, I am going to be planting this beautiful star jasmine plant. It is very tall. I would say it's about uh, the long stems on it are probably about six feet tall, which is super exciting that I found such a big one at the garden center. I am going to be planting it right underneath my number sign right here. Earlier this year, I don't know if it was December, if it was January, what I did is I added another espalier uh, right underneath the number sign and I added about a one gallon pot size star jasmine with the idea that I was going to be nice and patient and let it grow and I want it to grow up around the number sign and then eventually start even going over the garage. I love that look. I think it's so beautiful and it will tie into this other huge star jasmine I have over here on this post that I have. Um, so the star jasmine that I have there behind my southern sword ferns, it's doing well. It's kind of following that um, adage of sleep, creep, leap. The first year you plant something, it sleeps. The second year it starts creeping and then the third year it starts leaping. So it's been a full year. It's definitely Definitely been sleeping this past year. I am starting to see some wonderful growth on it. And if I had, if if things were a little different, I would be really happy with the progress that that star jasmine is having. Now, I have some news and I have to preface all my news so you all understand what a gigantic, gigantic, wonderful thing this is. So I live in a town called Davis and in Davis we have an art museum here downtown. It's called the Pence Gallery and it is very well respected and well known and what the Pence Gallery does is every year uh, around in May, around Mother's Day weekend, they have an, their annual fundraiser. And what their annual fundraiser is, it's called the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. And it is very, very well known. People from the Bay Area come, people from Sacramento come to see, usually it's about five, six, seven houses that are on the garden tour, all houses in Davis, all beautiful, gorgeous houses. My family and I love going on the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. And when I started gardening seriously in about 2020, it was this, you know, like pie in the sky, kind of half joking, half serious uh, wish that I would always talk about to my family. And I would say, they would say, what do you want for your birthday? And I would say, I wanna get in the Pence Gallery Garden Tour as just a joke, as just a funny thing. So it's been this joke for my family that anytime my family wants to, you know, do something nice to me, they say, what if I get you in the Pence Gallery Garden Tour? Or, you know, I'll get you the Pence Gallery Garden Tour for Christmas. It's just been this thing in our family. And if you guys have been on the tour, or if you can imagine, these homes are beautiful. They're gorgeous. Most of the time, they're pretty big properties with absolutely beautiful gardens, places that you would hold a wedding at. Um, and so I always thought that my garden would never be on the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. You guys can see what I'm getting at. So last week we were at my mom's house. My girls and I went to my mom's house for the week and I received an email. Shay was sitting right next to me and when I read it to her, we were screaming and jumping and crying. We were so excited. I was invited to be a part of the Pence Gallery Garden Tour for 2023. So I am beyond excited. It is such a big deal. I have been bragging about it to everybody I talk to because I'm so, so incredibly excited about it. So I wanted to share this news with you all because it is going to change the way that I garden over the next couple months. Now I am not just gardening, uh, you know, with no time frame in mind. Everything result revolves around next May. It's actually going to be on May 7th, 2023. And that is when I, my home is going to be one of the homes in the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. I can't even tell you guys. <laughs> I'm so happy about it. So I have been up late planning, thinking about it, thinking about what I want to do. 
you know, they came and they took a look at my home and they toured around the home and they told me some things they wanted to work on, you know, just for kind of safety issues. They said there's usually about 600 people that come on the tour. So uh, since I have such sm a small home, I have to really focus on the flow of foot traffic. So I have to work on my storage area side yard because that has to be an exit. I have to work on my narrow side yard because that has to be an entrance. You know, all these logistical things I do have to work on over the next couple months. But the other thing I want to work on is I want to get my garden in peak top, top condition. So waiting for this tiny little star jasmine to grow and grow up around my, my number sign. I hate to say it, but I need to kind of push things along a little bit. So I wanted to explain all this to you all so you could see normally I would absolutely leave this one gallon pot and I would let it grow. I don't have time for that. I, I want to plant this big one and that's how I'm going to, you know, be uh, handling things in my garden. And, and, you know, I want to say that I don't think that you all should do the same thing. I'm just doing it because this is a like a lifetime opportunity for me. I am so honored to be invited to be a part of this garden tour. Um, I, I just can't tell you all how excited I am. So anyways, long story short, that is why I am planting this giant uh, star jasmine in spot in this exact same place where I have a thriving star jasmine right now. I just wanted to give you a little background. Thank you for listening to me go on and on about the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. I will leave a link to the Pence Gallery. They don't have all the information up for the 2023 tour yet, but they will soon. If you all wanted to do it, to go on the tour, uh, you buy tickets through the Pence Gallery um, and then you can come meet me and see my house. And I'm super, super excited about it. Uh, so let's get to planting. I'm going to be a busy girl getting ready for this tour for the next couple months. So let's get to be, let's get to planting this star jasmine. So here's the star jasmine I am planning to plant. You can see the tendrils are nice and long and tall and it's going to be perfect because I have this wire espalier over here and I'll be able to just twine them around and hopefully I'll even be able to have to put another one here and basically I want to just kind of surround the number sign with the star jasmine and eventually bring it up here. I do have this and this star jasmine has been here for a couple years. It grows so fast and I have a wire that kind of goes right underneath my gutter, not on my gutter. Um, the star jasmine is wrapped around the gutter and I just keep it out of the eaves and everything like that. And it's really taken off. It's doing really, really well. Here is the small star jasmine. It's not growing very quickly because it's kind of covered with the southern sword fern, but you can see there is growth. It is it is doing its thing. I just have to be patient or I should say normally I would have to be patient with it. I just kind of, you know, I just kind of don't have the time. I'm just going to, you know, I'm not going to go crazy with changing everything. I want it to still look like my garden for the garden tour, but things like this that I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just waiting. I, it's so easy for me to just go to the store, you know, spend, I think this was $36 um, at the garden center, at my local nursery, and uh, it's just so much easier for me to put it in. I also am going to go through and I'm actually going to dig up all these ferns and I'm going to divide some of them and then put them back and uh, make it just a little bit more manageable of an area. I did a Home Depot tour last week on the girls first day of school and I saw these iceberg roses on sale. They were on sale for $16 and um, you know, I held back during the tour and I didn't get one, but then I was just thinking about it and I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I went back and got one and I love it. And I'm so, I can't wait to get it in the ground. So I'm probably going to do that later on this week. I do have this um, tall blue planet adratum or floss flower and I had cut it all back and it is blooming out like crazy again. I am in love, love with this plant, this floss flower plant. So this is one of those uh, annuals that I'm going to be planting a ton of next year because I just think it does so well here. So I'm going to try really hard not to mess with this today. I'm, trying, I'm just going to leave these here. Um, and then I'm going to pull some of these out. I do have some pastas. 
that don't look very good. I just, um, I think that they're just getting taken over from the ferns. So I think I will just end up taking those out. So this is a small little area, but it is a very important area. It's right in the front of the house. Uh, so that's my plan is to work on this today. So let's get on it. So I've got the bed all cleaned out. You can kind of see the star jasmine right now. I mean, it's just it's just kind of struggling. I'm sure that it would take off and it would be fine in a couple of years, but we don't have time for that. So here's all my southern sword ferns. They spread by rhizomes. So this was actually one plant. I divided it into three and now it just keeps, it just keeps dividing more and more. You can see these little things. I used to find these things all over my backyard because we had a lot of these in the backyard when we moved in. So they spread a lot. They do really well, but I love the ferny nature of it. And it's a fern that can handle our heat. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to rush. I'm going to get the star jasmine in and then I'm going to divide these up and and then I'm gonna plant three smaller versions. One, two, three, a little bit more room around the star jasmine so that the star jasmine can breathe right there, but I still get the beautiful ferns right here. All right, so what I'll probably do is I'll probably bring the hose over and I'll start spraying these to keep them hydrated as well. Okay, so that is instant impact. And I feel like it's gonna keep growing. I put a lot of Sure Start in there. I didn't have any compost. I'm out of compost, which is a bummer because I definitely would have put compost in, but I didn't have any. But I love how it mimics my Ivy Espalier in the background. I have a feeling this is gonna get a little bit more messy than the Ivy Espalier and I'm okay with that. I just think it looks really beautiful. So that's all done. Now I have to start dividing the Southern Sword Ferns and it's really, really easy. You just rip it apart. <laughs> it's such a piece of cake. So I think it definitely needs it because you can see that there's some dead kind of going on. Let me show you a little bit closer. So all this stuff right here, this all needs to come out. This all needs, you know, it's just taking up space and making it not look good. So I'm just going to get, I'm just going to use the fresh stems and then plant those. It's gonna look a little bit sparse at first, but it is gonna grow back so quickly. And by the time the garden tour is going on, it's gonna be beautiful and it's not gonna be like a mass of ferns. It's not gonna be too much. So let me get to this.
All right, so I've got it all in and planted. I feel like I am covered in dirt because I was trying to keep things nice and moist. So I was using uh, the hose, but of course that makes mud. <laughs> so I have mud everywhere, I feel like. That's all right, no big deal. So I got the star jasmine planted. I mean, it's instant impact. It's just, ugh, and I, I just think it's gonna grow so much faster than the other one, especially because I moved the Southern Sword Ferns out a little bit. Let me turn the camera around and show you all. So they are leaning over, but if I pull them back a little bit, you can see there's a lot more room around the star jasmine. So I think the star jasmine will be easier. I will be, so you can see this is a new fresh um, fern stem. I'm not sure what you call them, <laughs> but you can see the new fresh ones. So what I'll do is I'll just gradually keep cutting back the, um, the big old long ones. And so hopefully by spring, it'll be all new fresh ones. Um, I don't want to cut like shear them all back at once because I think that'll be too much stress, especially because I just divided them all back. So they'll be leaning over for a little bit, but they will grow back very quickly. I've done this quite a number of times and these ferns, they are, <laughs> they are just they're robust I'll say I even did it with this one over here you can see let me back it up a little bit you can see this one's starting to get take over a little bit as well so I'm gonna have to go in and I'm gonna have to divide that as well so I thought my caladiums weren't doing very well and over here I think that this is where there's some watering issues but oh look at these aren't they beautiful all of a sudden they just started taking off. I am loving it, so pretty. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. So this is all done. I have not had a chance to hook it up on drip yet. Um, I'm gonna have to do that for sure, probably later today, but I have to go do some mom duties, you know, driving one kid here, picking another kid up from there. <laughs> I have to go do that real fast and then I will come back and I will finish this project and probably put some mulch down. I'm not sure um, if I wanna do that or if I'm gonna add, I don't know. I'm just, I feel like now with the garden tour, everything's kind of getting moved around. Around. Um, so I think everything's going to be a little bit chaotic for a little while. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me go on and on about the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. I am ecstatic. I cannot tell you all Really, I should say I'm totally, totally honored. So that is going to be uh, quite a theme for the next couple months. I have so much wonderful, good stuff going on. I have the flower field, I have the Pence Gallery Garden Tour, and I have a couple other things in the works that I will tell you all about in a little bit, once that they're a little bit more solidified, um, but life is good right now. I'm really enjoying myself. So thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today. Mm -hmm.